guys, I'm Sabrina, and forget being the Ripley's researcher this week, I'm the mother of dragons. For the sake of not spoiling this episode, we'll just get started. But first, help us amass the Ripley's army, return to Westeros, and reclaim the throne by subscribing to our channel. Shame. 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 Let's go play with fire. Obviously dragons are mythical creatures, but there is one dragon that existed only in legend until the early 1900s when it was rediscovered by the world at large. The Komodo Dragon. And this guy is just sitting here kind of staring at me. Aww. Totally creeped out. I hate reptiles, and I think I want to move on to something that couldn't potentially kill me. Like a two-headed dragon. This dragon was created by matchstick artist Patrick Acton. Ripley's have been working with Acton for 25 years, and since 2012, we've acquired a new piece every single year. And instead of three petrified dragon eggs being gifted to me on my wedding day, because who knows when that's gonna actually happen, it was hand delivered and hand assembled by Acton himself. This piece is awesome. It moves, it makes sounds, and it breathes fire? Maybe? So in Game of Thrones, the very best blades are forged from a super strong but incredibly light substance known as Valyrian steel. Acton has the matchstick version of Valyrian steel down to a science. Using 273,000 matchsticks and over 9 gallons of glue, it took him over 2,000 hours to complete. Nearly every stick had to be shaped before being glued into place. And that's not all. Action's Dragon features animation that includes wing movement, menacing growling sounds, red glowing eyes, and nostrils. At 5 feet tall, 12 feet long, with a wingspan of 10 feet, that's no easy task. We had a chance to strike up a conversation with Acton while he was here assembling this beast. The sixth of seven siblings, Acton grew up in Gladbrook, Iowa. He began matchsticking in 1977 and even ran a tourist attraction called Matchstick Marvels to display his work. When starting on a new project, Acton first draws up his plans. He then builds a matchstick framework and covers it in a single layer of sticks. If need be, he bends the sticks by slightly crimping them with needle nose pliers and glues each stick one by one into place. As his matchstick creations are some of the world's largest, they take some serious time and effort. His replica of Harry Potter's Hogwarts took thousands of hours and over a quarter of a million matchsticks. Thanks for watching. This past week, you guys must have had some serious hot dog hangovers because those comments were looking pretty sparse. But those of you who did comment, like Mary, Ivy, and Brian, you guys were awesome and super into that mini history lesson. But then we've got Jason Hartzell over here with his enemy of the state profile picture. Jason, if you really want to abolish the anthem, I encourage you to write your congressman just like Ripley fans did to get that anthem going. And Paula Dean, where you at, baby girl? I totally missed you this week, but you guys know the drill. Thumbs up, subscribe, and leave us a comment for a chance to be shouted out next week. I'll see you guys then.